Eric Thompson spends a fair bit of his time filming in New Zealand, starring in the hit TV show 800 Words. But he and his family actually live right here in SA. So I caught up with him at Penny's Hill Winery to find out why he loves where he lives. What's your connection to this area? Um, well, my in-laws have uh, owned Penny's Hill Wine here, and I, I first came here back in 1997 and just fell in love with the place. I was in Sydney for 15 years and we moved down here to be closer to family and, and, and a better environment for the kids to grow up and we felt and um, come to beautiful South Australia and uh, you know have a, have a lifestyle sort of choice and, and then I just have to nip off and do some work elsewhere every now and again to pay the bills but it's a good place to return to, it's a really you know, a lovely place to retreat to and um, yeah we love it down here. Now, where else do you like to go? Like, what's your favourite spot for coffee? Because you obviously love the area. Yeah, well, look, um, I think uh, one of my favourite places is down in Wollonga, the green room I, on the corner there. It's been standing for a long time, and it's a really good place to catch up with friends. The current shed for lunch, great spot, mm -hmm. just in the vines there. And obviously, um, you know, a couple of iconic uh, restaurants around here, the Salopian Inn just up the road, which has been here for forever, and, um, and also the Star of Greece, a food location. You know, it's a... It's those are the places that I tend to take visitors from interstate when they come over here because they, they get a good cross-section of this area. Aside from Penny's Hill, any wineries you recommend? Um, oh, look, there's so many. And, and the great thing about the wineries down here is that they tend to be, you know, run by the winemakers and you can sort of inter interact with the people who actually make the wine as opposed to some of the bigger places elsewhere in the country. And do people recognise you? around here? Um, yeah, look, yeah, I get, a, get quite a bit of that, but I think all the locals are kind of, you know, over it, really. They don't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't really care too much. Um, so it's, it's good, because I've been coming here for almost 20 years, so um, I know a lot of people here and kind of a little bit part of the furniture now. And where's one of the most beautiful spots around the region? Um, well, we obviously spend quite a lot of time at Port Wollonga Beach because I think it's it's one of the best beaches I've, I've ever, ever been to. Great family beach, safe swimming in the summertime. In the summer, it's just like it's like a Mediterranean beach. Also, Kaipo Forest, we head up there quite a bit. You know, you rug up, lovely rustic walks through the the pine forests, and um, I've got uh, my little boy's only five and my daughter's nine, so the kids just love it. They can find all kinds of things to play, but. Um, with and um, you know get down to Victor Harbour and to um, Horseshoe Bay a little bit and Middleton and that kind of thing but anywhere you know there's just so much to do. You go to Sydney for work a lot, New Zealand and when people go where do you live and why what do you say? People are usually a little bit surprised live in South Australia especially in Sydney you know um, uh, they kind of go, why do you live down there and I say have you ever been there and usually the answer is no and I say well if you go there you'll realise why I live there the minute you get off the plane because it's a very it's a very you know livable place um, it's a beautiful place it doesn't have that kind of east coast pressure that I that, that you know I, I just find a little bit sort of stifling. Okay well after several months shooting in New Zealand you're back home um, I've just seen episode one of 800 words during the week and we've got plenty more to come welcome back you must be stoked. I am it's great to be back thank you.